and for lack of a better phrase, a head of production at the alley. As much as you can be head of production at a bowling alley slash dive bar rock venue. So I'm that guy. And I used to drink here and I learned to play darts here in the early 90s. So it's sort of been a full circle thing. I originally would never have found the alley bar unless my two best girlfriends when I was 18 got bar jobs here. And we moved out and bought a little, uh, like rented a little house up the street. And so it was sort of like staggering distance and a place where I got, I think, live music appreciation crash course. Enjoy our game every Wednesday, Norm and Sam. So he's the one that does the talk, see? He's the talker. time we play here it's as though we're playing a party in our own house <laughs> isn't it it really is I wish it wasn't closing down I really wish it wasn't closing down Yeah. Sorely missed in the Brisbane live music scene. 
Thank you. Amen. But your spirit will live on in all of us. <laughs> the best thing that's been said to me about the whole thing is Matt Nelson, who's a great artist, sent me an email saying, I heard they're auctioning off the stuff. I want to buy it. I want to buy every piece. But I want to rebuild it. And I think that's a great idea. That was beautiful. I was the league champion at this alley here. Me and my girlfriend at um, bowling. bowling, yes. Uh, which is why it's called the alley. But not only that, I remember the first time I saw these guys. And um, I turned 30 on my 30th birthday. I took acid and walked around the stage a thousand times. You've been labeled. Um, yeah, so what I gotta say to you people is that basically you can take acid and still be a champion.